We are doing a video today, Matthew and I here. The girls are still in school, but we are building a new swing set. And actually I brought some four by fours with me from Louisiana, but one of them got crooked as I'll get out and I don't want to use it. So we're gonna have to go buy a four by four, which is fine because we're gonna go get a four by six anyways for the cross beam of the swing set. But I wanted to show you what we're using here. <laughs> got Matthew here getting all the washers put on the lag bolts for me, but we're using this uh, Eastern Jungle Gym Easy Brackets, I guess is what they're called. So um, let me show you what they look like. So yeah, this is the bracket. Like okay, buddy. This is the bracket right here, which is going to mount your, your 4x4s, the legs together. And then the opening is made for a 4x6 to go through it. So we're going to get these put together. That way I can figure out, that way I can figure out what size 2x4 or 4x4 I want to put across it. And we'll drag them out in the yard and get four by six in it. Um, not a real big hurry, but I'm trying to get it at least put together today because the swings are going to be here tomorrow. And we got we also got let's see what this is. I don't remember. Made in China, of course. But uh, these are the the brackets that the swings hook to. I know you could use eyelets, you know, screw and eyelets, whatever. It's what we did on the last swing set. But we're going a little fancy on this one, make it nice. Hopefully, it'll last them a while, but. Let me, uh, well, I don't even really want to film this, to be honest with you guys. You don't really want to watch in this bracket here for the 4x4, so I guess we'll just be back once we get this together, and we'll show you how we're going to do the, uh, the cross board that's going to go, you know, like that right there, and uh, us trying to stand it up. Shouldn't be too hard. We'll probably just use a truck. What do you think, Matthew? Yeah. Okay, he says it's good, so we're going to start. We'll be back. All right, folks. Me and Matthew just got back from Lowe's. We went and purchased our 4x6 for the swing, or swing set, whatever you want to call it. Here's what we got. These are our two side pieces put together with the, the brackets that I showed you earlier. 4x6 is going to go in it. So what I'm going to do is pull a measurement. Because this 4x6 is a freshly treated piece of lumber, and it's extremely heavy. It's 4x6 by, by 12. So uh, what I'm going to do is measure the, the length or height of this here. And that put a mark on it and then start laying out start laying out where we're going to put our our uh, brackets for the swings so we're going to put four swings on it and the goal is four swings and a monkey bar on the outside of one of the frames so maybe i don't know i don't think any a whole lot of room maybe two foot or so so maybe have 10 foot inside we're just going to have to lay it out and see how it comes out but let me try to find the tripod set this up for y'all and we'll see how it goes we'll be back all right guys i'm back real quick i show you this i did find my selfie stick which is awesome so here's what we're using for the swings these are actually made for swings they're freaking huge honestly but uh we're gonna lay this out to where the swings go i know my swings ain't coming until tomorrow but i know they're 26 and a half inches wide so like i said we measured the bracket so we're basically going to come on this first end here we're going to come in 12 inches so this board will go all the way in the bracket and then we'll probably come over a foot and then start laying out the uh the swing set brackets here so what i'm going to do is uh what i'm going to do is just set the camera up for you so you guys can see this and uh matthew and i i think he's going to help me we're going to start laying this thing out and hopefully we got enough room to put uh kinsley some monkey bars on the end so stay tuned here we go So you saw a video there at the beginning. I was starting to mark, measure everything, trying to get it all lined out perfect. Then I decided it's just a swing set. It's nothing, nothing that serious here. I know safety and everything is important, but found out an easier way to lay this out. So don't laugh at my little redneck idea here, but let me show you. What. So instead of going 26 inches, I say we'll just go 24 inches between each bracket for the swing. So we got two foot level. It goes from this bracket to this bracket. And this is just a three inch by three inch uh, epoxy coaster we made at one time. So that'll be our space between the two swings. And then we'll do this uh, same pattern all the way down. So let me get the um, get the hardware. Uh, these brackets also came, they came from a different company, but um, they come with some pretty, uh, pretty stout lag bolts. So I'm gonna get a drill, uh, pre-drill some holes in this lumber and then uh, 
get the impact gun ready and we'll drive them in. So I'll, I'll probably film that for y'all so you can see this whole process. So here we go. Watch the fast forward version. All right, YouTube, you just saw that part and uh, well, you're getting ready to take them all back off now because that did not work. I don't know how in the hell I can't lay out four swings on a 12 foot long post. Realistically, I got 10 foot if you count the brackets that this four by six goes in. So right now I got them spaced out at 24 inches apart for where the swings go and uh, it's not enough. Let me show you. So we got from, where's the camera at here? to here that's one swing and then this is a gap in between swing number two gap swing number three and we're out of wood <laughs> so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get four swings on this thing believe it or not so uh, i hate to do three because with four kids three swings somebody's always gonna be mad so and i don't really want to try to force them any closer so we might just have three swings i guess and maybe three can swing or two can swing while two's riding a go-kart or something of that nature but um and i don't want to get a longer four by six i mean i know if you get a 14 or 16 16 foot it'd be perfect but they don't recommend anything over eight to ten foot spanned on a swing because you'll get too much sag in your four by six i don't know i'm not the expert i'm just building it so i'm just telling you what they're saying so we're just gonna go with three swings on this one and um is what it is i guess so we'll go ahead and get this together and then have the fun part of taking this whole 12 foot four by six, our two side pieces in the backyard, try to get the damn thing put together and uh, see what we can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these screwed in and uh, we'll continue. All right guys, one thing I wanted to show you, you got to, if you get these off Amazon, which I'll, I'll put the link in the description to them, but you gotta take this bolt out and take this piece off of them because you just can't, uh, can't get a straight shot maybe if you had a longer extension or something i'm sure that might help but be careful with them because they do have bearings in each side of them so just keep the bearings in them and then put them back on your bracket and bolt them on that's all you gotta do so just kind of a piece of advice if you don't have a long enough extension i guess and then we'll tighten those down once we're all done but um yep that'll make it a little easier on you i guess and if you're OCD like me, you're gonna have all your bolts going the same direction. But, there we go. So, let me get all these put in, and we'll be back. All right, we're back, day two. Swing set build, it's done. You can hear them swinging in the background. I'm gonna show y'all here in just a minute. Now, hold on Matthew, I'm talking buddy. Now, I was able to get all four swings on it, which is positive, because now, Nobody's fighting and bickering over a swing. Had to move all the brackets around. The measurements for the swings, I bought the swings on Amazon also. Said 26 inches apart, so I put my brackets 26. Obviously, it didn't work. Uh, definitely don't need 26. 16 is about perfect. So let's just show it to you. So here they are, all four of them swinging. Probably gonna cut that excess chain off of them, the tops there, but that we can do that later on. Yeah, Bell was also something to complain about, but <laughs> I, I went 16 inches, really 16 all the way down. So there's a 16 inch gap between the two, and then 16 on a swing, 16 between, so on and so on. So it worked out perfect. We got all four of them out here swinging now, having them a good old time. So what I'll do for y'all, since uh, this is just a DIY handyman Saturday afternoon project, we will. Uh, I will put links in the description for the Eastern Jungle Gym brackets. Let me show them to you. See? So these brackets here, I will put the link in the description to those. And I'll put the link in the description to these brackets for the swings, which are really nice. They have bearings in them. And I'll put a link in the description to the swings themselves. If you want to build this, there's three things on Amazon you got to buy. And then go to your local hardware store, big box store, and get you a 4x6 and four 4x4s and you'll be good to go so thanks for watching this video and we'll see y'all next time for whatever we're doing next bye